it's so late. It's so, so late. Thank you so much. I hope it. I got so many theories and suspicions. I'm diagnosed with real nigga conditions. Today is the day I follow my intuition. Keep the family close. Get money for bitches. I double parked the Austin. So, the reason I was so angry about being late was because number one, I missed a work out of third space. Two, I ended up being just, just a bit late to Sanctum Soho. So basically, like two days before I leave Madrid um, to fly back to London, I get a message from John, who I haven't seen in probably like six months. Um, but we've been in constant communication. Uh, he's helped me out quite a few times with shoots. He's actually the PR manager for Third Space in London. Super cool gym. Um, and he invited me to have a bottomless brunch at this place. So let's see how it goes. I wanna be with you. Oh, nice. It's incredible. Well, thank you so much to Sanctum Hotels for the meal. Thank you so much to John for inviting me. He knows about Pleasure. every single person in London. <laughs> so um, I think this is like the third third event he's invited me to. Um, so I said, big big thank you to John. Um, that was so nice. So as if John had pampered me already today, we're uh, walking around, so uh, he actually does, as I said, um, social media work for uh, Third Space. Um, so he decided to give me a tour, Third Space so home. Okay. Demon just got out of can, I gave my bro in advance, love is just not in my plans, not even taking a chance, studio right in my yard, I'm doing 10 in a week. How long I've been on the street? Dream about working my sleep. Okay, I got a lock on the street. It's a pleasure to see you, John. Yeah. <laughs> So guys, I was away in Madrid for a week and it was a really, really relaxed week. I was there with my best friend. You guys have seen him a ton, Filippo. And um, I just came back and funnily enough, I was, I was at brunch with um, John today. I had a very similar conversation with John that I did with Filippo. Me and Filippo were up at like 4 a.m. Um, and we talked for like three hours about this topic. Um, it's basically just the clarity and the vision that you have. And for me, like context is such a big thing. Like, I love, I love hitting on both heads. I love, um, you know, being around people who are multi, multi millionaires. Um, I love being around people who are super happy, super good at their thing, because then that stretches my context. I start to understand what's possible. And then I love on the other side, bringing people into my world, into my reality and showing them things they would never have known is possible. And that's sort of what I'm trying to do in my social media, really. I'm just trying to prove to you that's possible. Let me tell you, the biggest problem out there is people don't know what they want. Like everyone thinks they want to be a, like a multimillionaire, but it's not yet within their reality. So what I like to do, and I was talking to John about this, is I like to give myself so much context. I want to understand what is out there in the world. I want to find the truth. I want to see what's open up to me and then honestly decide what I want. The problem with you guys is you think you want something, but you haven't had the context yet to realize what it takes to get there. Or even, like, even if you want to, like, even if it's that great. So my plea to you is please just, whenever you get a chance, travel, hang out with people who are way more proficient than you in certain areas, put yourself in uncomfortable situations, step out of your comfort zone, because then that gives you context, that gives you reference experience, that basically helps you understand what is actually possible in the world, and then you can choose what you want. I'm so happy to be back in London. Never really been into Kendrick Lamar, but his new album is pretty dope. We're actually gonna end the vlog off here. I'm sorry this is really short, but um, as you 
would have just seen I am exporting one video. I had edited one video before then. So two videos, this video. So now I'm scheduled three days in advance. And tomorrow I am meeting up with Lewis. Um, it's been a while. I'm actually going to... I don't know if you've seen, I actually didn't put on the vlog, but I got a new lens for my Sony A7. It's a 20mm f... or 28mm f2, so I'm actually going to hook that up to the Geom Crane um, and uh, see what results we can get from that tomorrow. But, if you enjoyed this video, if you're really happy to see me back, because I actually haven't vlogged in like a week, I just tried to do some sort of cinematic day in the life kind of vlogs without any speaking um, on my end at least in Madrid so if you're happy to see me back leave a like if you want to see daily uploads leave a like because um, I will try to get there if not daily I'm, I'm gonna try and go five six times a week um, if I can't do it myself you know I'm very lucky to have a really big team of freelancers who do a lot of work for me and um, you know I have a lot of editors, a lot of photographers I'm actually with another cameraman um, you, I don't know when you're seeing this actually but I'm with a cameraman uh, for two days this coming week um, so I've got a lot of help and I've got a lot of backlogging uh, and a lot of schedule uploading that I can do so I'm in a very lucky position for that and um, now that I'm back from Madrid You'll be seeing a lot of that content. If you enjoyed, leave a like. As I said, I'm rambling. I'll see you guys in the next one.